Will Rogers was an icon. He was, he was the conscience of the United States, and he was always being quoted, such as, Will Rogers says, there are only two ways to argue with a woman, and either one of them works. <laughs> My childhood years, 1918 to 1935, provided me with a rich foundation. Foremost was my parents. My mother graduated at the age of 16 from Iowa State College with a teaching degree. She had vivid stories about teaching all grades in a one-room school. My father graduated from a technical institute in Switzerland and became a horticulturist. It fascinates me that I knew persons who were born at the time of the Mexican War in 1847. Some experienced the Civil War, some the Indian War, and when Geronimo was, was uh, riding herd over the Midwest and had 50% of the United States Army uh, chasing him. We had an Afri uh, African-American working on the ranch who was the son of a slave. He told us kids fascinating stories about battles he saw between the Confederates and the Union. So what does all that in, have to do with the, the Tea Party and my uh, leading the Air Force in review over the battleship Missouri? As a boy growing up in the valley, I could not have imagined by, the, in the, by my wildest dreams that by the time I was 25 years old, I would fly combat in North in the North Atlantic, in the Caribbean, in the near Pacific, in Guatemala, in Panama, in Ecuador, in Peru, the Galapagos Islands, India, China, and the Mariana Islands, and ultimately Japan. During the 37 months that I was overseas, I served in many different countries, and in all cases, the quality of life there for the most people was not as good as the worst life in this country. It was also because they lacked what is perhaps the single most important challenging characteristic uh, of, of the American uh, person. And that most important thing is the fundamental belief in the value of each individual. What does that phase or phrase or that idea really mean? One thing it means is the belief that each one of us has the right to succeed or fail based on the dis decisions that we make and the opportunities that we do to, in chiseling out our life. And this is not about economics, it's not about haves and have-nots, it's about an approach to life where each one of us has the right uh, to dream big dreams and pour ourselves into the efforts of making those dreams come true for ourselves, our children, and our grandchildren. I believe in God, and the religions of the world have much to teach us. I happen to be Christian. When Jesus said, "It will make we will make them fishermen, it was not about helping them become, uh, to get rich or uh, others get, get, uh, would get poor. It was about according each one of the, sim of the simple human dignity of self-reliance and letting us enjoy the deep satisfaction and the sense of individual responsibility. That is why it is better to give than to receive. But not, it's not because of... Uh, work is a fun, it's because you take when you take, you are diminished. And that is why. And that is why our founding fathers and the generations that followed, including my generation, insisted on government of limited power. my generation that lost a 400,000, some 400,000 lives that were not fully lived. They understood what each of you understand. 
And we as human beings with, have human failings. One of those failings cannot be disputed. We know because we have seen it time and time again. Throughout history we've seen it. That when power is concentrated, it will eventually be abused without exception. And usually sooner than later. That's why the office of the president is supposed to be a check on Congress. Why the institution of Congress is supposed to keep an eye on the president and why the courts are supposed to keep an eye on both. That is why certain powers were denied to the federal government completely and were supposed to be reserved to the states. That is why the states have county and count government. That is why we have a Bill of Rights. That is why we have a free market, economy, free market economy in which different companies, industries, technologies, markets, consumers all act as a check and balance on each other. Not to make one group rich or another poor, but to allow me and you as individuals to make choices, to live lives as we choose, not with somebody else choosing it for us. In that light, in World War II, the combat operation went from full combat to zero combat in 24 hours. For those of us who were in combat at the time, it was a, a fantastic happening. Uh, we had peace at last, but it, in one day it happened, the day that the Japanese turned in the, their flag. But what an adjustment to make with so short notice.